So you can see here, 13 years, bit of muscle on the legs, bit of leanness. <laughs> Is that much fat on the legs? <laughs> 10 cokes a day for a month. I've been doing so 20 cokes a day for almost 14 years. I'm fucking leaner than that joker. Here's a t-shirt, funny one. I'm sorry for what I said when I was undercarved from sweetsimplyvegan.com. Thanks for this shirt. But people might say, well, you're, you're skinny. And I'm like, yeah, man, I'm fucking lean. Lean as a Tour de France champion. But this guy was saying sugar makes you fat. So I've, I've drunk more, I've consumed more sugar than this Scott Joker has. He did it 30 days. 30 days. 30 days ain't nothing, man. 30 days. <laughs> I've done been doing the dietary experiments, documenting on YouTube for the last 2008, six years. Six years. But before that, I was doing this before YouTube existed. 2001, when I started really getting my carbohydrate intake up. 1996, started dabbling with it. But 2001 is when I went high carb vegan. A little bit of experimentation in between there, but you know, less carbs and stuff, felt like shit. Put the carbs back up, felt good again. So I've been doing it 14 years, coming up in a few months, almost 14 years. Hang on, what have we got now? 13, till 2001, do the maths. April 2001, high carb, low fat, low protein vegan. April 2001, do the math. How many years is that? 13, 14 years or whatever. And this guy did it for fucking 30 days. What a joke. What a fucking joke. Here is my weight and current body fat percentage done from this morning. Check it out. Now this is measuring my fat percent. So I got 5% body fat there. And 66.2 kilos. Starting weight. 5% body fat, 66.2 kilos. So this joke is almost 30 kilos heavier than me. 30 kilos heavier than me not as fit as me extra 30 kilos did it something for 30 days and claims he's an expert he's a guru <laughs> not as lean as me i've been doing something since april 2001 lean and double double the sugar calories that he was consuming and i do not drink coke the reason why i don't drink coke is the, the carbonic acid in it is not good for your teeth sugars are right but that black shit that makes it carbonic acid and that, I don't want that on my teeth. Sure, if you have it now and then, it's not going to hurt you. But be very mindful of carbonic acid and phosphoric acid that's found in Coke and other soft drinks because it can be bad for your dental, dental enamel. But the sugar's fine. The sugar's not the issue, man. It's the chemicals, the hexane solvents, all the crap that comes with it. That's the what, no, what you don't. But if you have a Coke now and then, it's not going to cure you. Coke is vegan, but I don't drink Coke. Since 2000, I've had a glass of Coke. My point is, is sugar's not the issue. This guy is at almost 100 kilos on a high fat diet. And he's, this is crazy. And he's trying to say grains make you fat. Dude, go to fucking Asia. Come with us, go to the Raw Tool 4 Festival next year and we'll show you a few million skinny Thai people who eat white refined sugar rice every day. And they're like that. And then when they get more money, they go, oh, let's go to KFC, let's go to McDonald's, and they have more animal fat and protein. And pff, animal fat and protein is anabolic. That's why all the comments, oh, you gotta do skinny, you're too skinny, you're too skinny. The reason why that is, is because my insulin levels are so low, and this paleo joker, his insulin levels are high. So anything he's eating, he's storing as fat. That's why I'm so lean. That's why Freely's so lean. We have low fasting insulin levels consistently year in year out so that's the magic you want low insulin minimal yet sufficient insulin is anabolic that's why non-diabetic uh, bodybuilders use insulin as an anabolic steroid what is anabolic estrogen is anabolic estrogen is found in meat and dairy fish all animals have estrogen so when you're eating animals you're having more estrogen anabolic what else is it anabolic is testosterone. That's found a bit in animal products as well. So that's anabolic, weight gaining, uh, progesterone, etc. All these sex steroids, sex hormones found in animal products are anabolic. And when you have a lot of animal fats, excess fat in your diet, that also boosts up anabolic hormones, weight gain. 
and then you have more insulin from extra fat and protein. So you have this cascade of anabolic hormones and that's why all the paleo people are overweight, all long-term, because they're authors. Lauren Cordain, father, grandfather of the paleo diet, obese, Sally Fallon, obese. You know, all these people are, are just so overweight. Unless they're doing a full-on calorie restriction program, maybe like Mark Sisson who admits, I'm lean because I severely calorie restrict and I run on like you know four or five cups of coffee a day. And yeah, you can do that, but that's not fun. That's not healthy. You happen to run on stimulants, so I want to have some carbs, but I can't because my insulin's so high, I'm just going to gain it all. That's not fun. That's why all the paleo crew are overweight. Even Rob Wolf now, the author of the paleo diet, who's ditched the paleo diet and goes, fuck, I was wrong. And now Rob Wolf, Rob Wolf eats a fucking high carb diet now because he admits that the low carb diet is a lot of that. So it's quite interesting stuff, but the mass media likes to put it out there because the meat industry is like going, hip, we sponsor your adverts, boom, 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 Craziness. It's the rule of money. The golden rule is those of the gold make the rules. So I'm going to do a 30-day challenge. I'm going to increase my anabolic hormones and I'm going to increase my protein intake in the next 30 days to see how much weight I can gain. Let's do it.